Vincenzo. Vincenzo. I want to see. Let's see if he did. How many of those he did? Okay. Vincenzo, what's up, buddy? My man, how you doing? Good. I um, I got one of my good friends to enroll in the ambassador program. He head up with Mike in your office and signed up uh, two days ago. Love Congratulations, it. dude. How'd you do with the six yep. segments every week, uh, every day? Uh, uh, six segments. I went over the six segments. Um. One of the days yesterday was a little difficult, but I got it in at the end of the day, Good. which in turn tells me that I'm procrastinating and I'm not getting my shit done correctly. Yeah. So yeah. I learned from that. Yeah. Yes, what, hey, what time it. do you What time do you wake up uh, every day? About seven a.m. Yeah. What time do you go to sleep? Eleven, twelve. Yeah, dude. Once you kick that up to nine, go to sleep at nine o'clock at night. I leave my office at nine. Okay, well, maybe leave your office today. Get this, get, get, you know, why, why do you leave so late? Uh, starting a new business, um, trying to get our structures, meetings, getting um, accountability set, and we actually enrolled our entire office, 22 users on Card on You. Nice. Uh, good, good for you. Uh, I, I would just yeah. say, look, sleep, sleep is, is, is really important. Just so you guys know, you guys that are trying to run on less sleep, it's not good. So... I'm going to tell you one thing that's helped me my whole career. If I beat the sun up, there's something about when I beat the sun up. I'm not really beating the sun up, right? The earth rotates into the sun. So um, there, there's something that happens for me when I, that changes my day every time. Well, I haven't done anything except wake up early. There's no doubt that you can be more productive from 5 to 6 a.m. or from 5 to 7 a.m. than you can from 10 o'clock p.m. to midnight. Yeah, I mean, I'm starting to just, wear out. Yeah. I'm starting to wear out at the end of the day, right? Yeah. It's it's starting to become a little bit like, you know. So anyway, I know I can get done more in the morning. And I also know, hey, there's something about me starting my day early. Yeah, that gives me some sense of okay, I'm in control. So, on your terms. On my terms. If you can't control the start of the day, you can't control what happens. Throughout and the day. and that yeah. requires me to to particularly if sleep's important to your body. Um, I used to run on four and five hours. It was a big mistake. A man made me aware of that when I was 40 years old. Um, so I started going to sleep at nine, getting up at 4.30 or five o'clock in the morning. It made a big difference. Do you have a question or do you have any successes that you've experienced so far? Well, I uh, will make a commitment to you now to wake up an hour earlier for the rest of this week there you go. and continue on that commitment. Where, where, um, do you, where do you live? I live in Long Island, New York. Okay, well, you'd have to be up, but you'd have to be probably kick that up to like 5.15, man, to, to beat the sun up. Damn. All right, I'm going to do it. I dare you, I dare you, dog. Yeah, c commitment before ego, you know? Let's yeah. get this going. Yeah. So um, what, I, what I've got from, uh, I just joined the ambassador program. It's my uh, second week. Um, knowledge is what I've gained. The magic question, very powerful. The agreement and your agreement challenge, damn, that's difficult. But that uh -huh. was powerful. Yeah, yeah, because you're powerful. from New York. You guys are argumentative over there. You're brought up to be right rather than... Right when I wake up in the morning, I disagree I should be up at that time. Already yeah. I lost. <laughs> yeah. Done. The, the agreement um, challenge, you want, you want to tell people the, what the agreement challenge is maybe that haven't gotten to that section of card on you? Agreement challenge. I give you an hour, but at least for 24 hours a day, try to agree with everybody you encounter. You're going to lose in a half hour. I'm yeah. telling you. If you're but from New York. <laughs> if you're from like Tennessee, you got a better shot. Sure, sure. And um, also I want to put out there if um, uh, people haven't gotten to that section, the role play. Never did it in my life. Never implemented. Never even thought about it very powerful stuff yeah very what do you powerful. do for work and what what do you uh, do we're in real estate we're in okay. real estate we acquire short sales we have national property rescue we acquire short sales and foreclosures we rehab them we have um first home key which we put first home buyers into our renovated homes plus we have a mortgage company that we're partners with yeah, that's so we're awesome. trying to blow this thing up so you guys make sure how, how do you pronounce your first name is it vincenzo Vincenzo. Vincenzo. How do you pronounce your last name? Vincenzo. Basquedo. 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 Okay, so you guys, if you guys are interested, if you're in the flip, the wholesale, in the residential part of the real estate game, hook up with this dude. 
And when you guys do, when you guys start hooking up on Facebook, by the way, make sure you're using...